Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in this video we're gonna learn how to implement navigation drawer along with the navigation components to our Android application, right? So if we have implemented n number of fragments into our nav graph using the navigation components and we want to switch between the fragments using navigation drawer, how we can do that, we'll be learning this thing. So let me just demonstrate what we're gonna get by the end of this video. So if you can see on my mobile screen, I have this activity open. Inside that we have uh, implemented a fragment named fragment one. And on the top left corner, we have this hamburger sign. If I just tap on this, we get various options. Fragment one, two, and three. If I just tap on fragment two. So fragment one has been replaced with fragment two in the same activity. And similarly, fragment two can be replaced with fragment three. So this can be done with n number of fragments. So we'll be using three fragments in this tutorial. So if you want to implement the same to your Android application, make sure you watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So in this video, we'll be learning how to implement a navigation drawer to the navigation components that has already been implemented. So if you're new to this navigation component concept, so I already have a video on that. You can just check out these two videos by clicking on this I button. But if you know how navigation components work and you have implemented this to your Android application already and just want to implement a navigation drawer, you can skip these two videos and you can continue with this tutorial. So now I assume that you have implemented the navigation components. So now to uh, make a navigation drawer, first we are going to create a layout for that. So for that, just right click here, Android source file. And here in the resource type, we'll select menu. And let me just name it as draw layout. So you can see a new directory has been created and we have got this layout. So if I just go to split window and here we'll be implementing uh, all the items that we want inside our navigation drawer. So let me just quickly do that. So okay guys, we have created a layout for our navigation drawer, right? Here you can see we have implemented three items, but make sure that you provide the ID of this item. Same as we have here into our nav graph. So for the fragment one, the ID here inside the nav graph is fragment one. And similarly for two, it's fragment two and for fragment three, it is fragment three. So we need to provide the same IDs and for the title, you can choose any title you want. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I have given fragment one, two and three. So that is all we need to do inside this drawer layout. Now we'll just go to our main activity and here we'll just change the parent layout to the drawer layout. As we all know that where we want to implement a drawer layout, the parent layout should always be drawer layout, right? And now we'll implement a relative layout here. You can implement any layout that suits your application but i'll be using a relative layout here so inside this relative layout we'll implement a app bar right Okay, we have implemented a toolbar, right? Top toolbar. So it's not visible because it, it is underlying inside this fragment. So the next thing we are going to do is we are uh, going to put this fragment inside the relative layout only. So let me just do that. 
so here you can see this is the top bar that i was talking about so if i just put it under a relative layout and i'll just remove all the constraints here because we are using the relative layout here and i'll use layout below trade so here you can see this is our top bar and below this top bar we have implemented this fragment just to make the thing simpler i'll just name it as nav force fragment right and now outside this relative layout we'll be implementing a navigation view width should be wrap content and the height should be match parent and we'll give it id let us just give it an id of navigation view let us just set some attributes let us just set some attributes and for the menu we'll be using a draw layout that we have just created so if i just tap here you can see the initially this layout will be outside the window right so let us just give it give id to this layout as well we'll just name it as drawer layout because we'll be using that in our main activity backend code right so that is pretty much everything in the front end that we need to do but make sure if i just go to my theme section so here i have implemented no action bar because i have all i have created it separately this top bar so make sure in the themes you have implemented no action bar now we'll just go to our main activity let me declare some reference variables so let us just refer to the toolbar that we have created inside our main main activity front end right let us just refer to that using find view by id so the id for that is top app bar and we'll set it to the default action bar right so i'll just pass it here after that we'll refer to our draw layout and the navigation view as well let us just create an instance of app bar configuration so inside this we'll pass the id of the three fragments so fragment one and then we are going to set the openable layout that initially this method was used to called set drawable layout but now that has been duplicated and it has been replaced with this app openable layout so we'll pass the drawer layout here and finally we're going to build this right now we're going to refer to our navigation controller so for that i'll just use nav controller right this is our nav fragment that will be hosting all the fragments inside our activity so we have just referred to that so then navigation ui dot setup action bar with nav controller and here we'll pass the context of this activity the nav controller and the app bar configuration And on the last we are going to override a method so let me just so that method is on sport navigation up so nav controllers nav controller is equal to So that is all we need to do to implement our drawer layout right so let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right so okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen if i just tap on this hamburger sign 
we have got our navigation drawer that we have designed if i just tap on fragment 2 our fragment has been placed with the fragment 2 right and if i just tap on fragment 3 the fragment 2 has been replaced with fragment 3 right so i guess we have successfully implemented navigation draw to our android application and i also hope that you guys have understood the code but still if you have any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on the screen right now and if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see another video bye